In this lesson, we are going to predict the products for single replacement reactions. Remember, a single replacement reaction is where an element and a compound react to produce a different element and a different compound. We're going to get more specific as to what those elements and compounds are. Usually our elements are going to be metals, and the replacement will be between the metal and a metal ion that's in the compound. Instead of a metal ion, we might see hydrogen. Our compound is always going to be in solution, specifically an aqueous solution. When we go through and predict the products for these single replacement reactions, we are going to be very specific as to the phase or state of matter for each substance in the chemical reaction. To determine if we're going to have a single replacement reaction, we're going to use the activity series of metals. If you don't have this reference sheet available, please go get it now. We will not be using the solubility rules that we have used previously for double replacement reactions. The solubility rules are for double replacement reactions only. The activity series is for single replacement reactions only. And this is how we're going to use it. We are going to look up the metal, the element, in our reactants. Let's say the uh, metal reactant is calcium. Calcium can replace, in a single replacement reaction, anything that is below it on the activity series. So usually the metal will replace a metal ion. However, it could replace hydrogen. You can see that here. But everything else is a metal. So a metal can replace a metal ion or hydrogen if it is more reactive. So calcium could not replace anything above it on the activity series. Calcium would be less reactive than those metals. So let's look at some examples. Here we have solid lead, that's our metal, and we have an aqueous solution of zinc sulfate. If this is going to be a single replacement reaction, the lead will come in and replace the zinc. So the metal will come in and replace the metal ion. We have to check our activity series. If you look at your activity series and you find lead, we're always going to look up the metal. Lead cannot replace zinc. Lead can only replace metals that are below it on the activity series. Zinc is above it. So this is not a reaction. So we're not going to predict products, and we're just going to move on to the next one. In this one, we've got aluminum metal, and we have sulfuric acid. So we don't have a metal ion in our aqueous solution, but we do have hydrogen. That is our other option. So the question is, can aluminum replace hydrogen in this single replacement reaction. So find aluminum on your activity series. We're always just going to look up the single element metal. It can replace anything below it. And hydrogen is below aluminum on the activity series. So this reaction will occur. So we'll predict products and then balance the chemical equation. So hydrogen is going to be our new element. But remember, hydrogen is diatomic. And hydrogen is a gas, so I'm going to give it a little g. And then aluminum and sulfate are going to go together. We need to look up the charges for these elements. This is going to be an ionic compound. We've got a metal and a polyatomic ion. And our compound is always going to get a little AQ. So both compounds, the reactant compound and the product compound, will always be in solution in water. Don't forget to balance the chemical equation. In this next example, 
we want to see if silver can replace iron in a single replacement reaction. So silver is pretty low on the activity series. It can only replace a few metals that are below it. Iron is not one of them. So this is no, not a reaction. In this next example, we want to see if magnesium can replace aluminum. Magnesium is just above aluminum on the activity series. So this one will be a reaction. The aluminum will be our element. And aluminum is a metal, so it's a solid. And then magnesium and chlorine are going to be together in our compound. We look up the charges and we get MgCl2. And we'll give that a little AQ. Don't forget to balance. And finally, we need to see if iron can replace magnesium in a single replacement reaction. If we find iron on the activity series, we see that magnesium is not below it. And so this one is no reaction as well. So hopefully now you know how to predict if a single replacement reaction will occur using the activity series and how to predict and label the products. If not, please go back and rewatch this video.